Okay, hey everybody. Welcome to today's study of the Word of God. Uh, God bless you all. Hope you all are having a good day. Um, we're going to pick it up today. Numbers chapter 36. Going to finish the book of Numbers today. Uh, Numbers chapter 36. Going to be covering uh, heiresses. Before we get started, let's go to our Father in prayer like we always do. So, Yahweh, Heavenly Father, pray that you open eyes, open ears this day, and let us receive the wisdom that you would have us receive from your word today, Father. Uh, we got a short chapter today, but let's finish up this book of Numbers, uh, chapter 36. In Yeshua's precious name, a word of wisdom from our Father, and it reads, And the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilead, the son of Machir, Machir meaning salesman, the son of Manasseh, Manasseh meaning causing to forget, of the families of the sons of Joseph came near and spake before Moses and before the princes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel. Two, and they said, The Lord, capital L, Yahweh, commanded my Lord, lowercase l, speaking of Moses, to give the land for an inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. That he did. And my Lord, lowercase l, talking about Moses, was commanded by the Lord, Yahweh, to give the inheritance of Zelophehad, our brother, unto his daughters. And this is so. This uh, happened in Numbers chapter 27, verses 6 and 7. Verse 3. And if they be married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then shall their inheritance be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and shall be put to the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall it be taken from the lot of our inheritance. They're saying because the daughters are the heiresses, if they were to marry someone of the of another tribe, then our the inheritance of our father, our tribe. Uh, would fall to the other tribe because because they married into the other tribe. Verse 4. And when the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be the, the jubilee. This was back in Leviticus chapter 25. God told the children of Israel that when they, or Moses, children of Israel, that when they came into the land which he would give them, which is, which is about to happen, the land of Canaan, that they should measure seven Sabbaths, and the Sabbath is every seventh year, so you had seven Sabbaths, uh, it's 49 years, and the 50th year would be the year of Jubilee, and what that was, was if over those 49 years, if someone had uh, sold uh, his land because he fell on hard times, uh, after those 49 years, in the 50th year, the year of Jubilee, he would be able to return to his land. And so that's what this year of Jubilee is. Then shall their inheritance be put unto the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall their inheritance be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. Verse 5. And Moses commanded the children of Israel according to the word of the Lord. According to whose word? Moses' word? No. According to the word of the Lord. Saying, The tribe of the sons of the son of Joseph hath said well. Verse 6. This is the thing which the Lord doth command concerning the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, Let them marry to whom they think best. Only to the family of the tribe of their father shall they marry. And this solves that problem of the land uh, somehow uh, getting out or getting away from uh, this tribe. 7. So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from, the tri from tribe to tribe. For every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. This keeps their inheritance, the land that they receive, in that tribe for, forever, for good. Verse 8. And every daughter that possesseth an inheritance, this would be an heiress, in any tribe of the children of Israel, 
shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father, that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Verse 9. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe, but every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. This is solving the problem, that they, the concern that they had. Verse 10. Even as the Lord commanded Moses, so did the daughters of Zelophehad. They went and they married. They found a man uh, within uh, the tribe of their fathers. 11. For Mala, Mala meaning sickness in the Hebrew, Tirzah, Tirzah meaning delightsomeness, and Hagla, Hagla meaning a partridge, like a bird, like the bird. <clears throat> And Milka, Milka meaning queen, and Noah, Noah meaning movement, the daughters of Zelophehad were married unto their father's brother's sons. They married their cousins, and this was common back at this time. Verse 12. And they were married into the families of the sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. It's again, solving that problem. 13. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord, Yahweh, commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. And that's going to conclude chapter 36 of the book of Numbers. And that's going to conclude the book of numbers um i hope you all have enjoyed the book of numbers as much as i've enjoyed studying and bringing it forth to you uh, i love you all because y'all love studying god's word chapter by chapter and verse by verse i know i sure do uh, i need it every day it really helps me out and 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 it's the path that i choose to follow and god is a great leader um, more importantly than anything I could say to you, uh, God loves you for studying his word. And when you study his word, uh, you're going to be blessed. Why? Because this is the love letter that God uh, took the time and was so important, the contents thereof, that he, he uh, saw it fit to write it to you. And when you take the time to read it, open it up and read it and seek him, uh, it says that you love him and when you love God and you seek God and you do your best and then when you fall short you repent um, you've got a clean slate and God's going to choose to bless you and it really puts a smile on his face when he sees his children studying the word the love letter that he wrote to you all right I love you all uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, teach this book of numbers to you and uh, i'll never take it for granted and what a pleasure it is to serve the living god and to be able to teach his word all right don't miss the next lecture we're going to start a new book book of deuteronomy all right love you all thanks for watching